Governor of Oshun State, Southwest Nigeria, has directed the state chapter of the APC to discontinue a court case instituted against some of the members of the party who are supported by his predecessor. Now, the governor, Boyega Oyetola, and his statement by the chief press secretary says that the case against seven APC members arraigned in court on Monday for allegedly conspiring and assault should be withdrawn in the interest of peace and harmony within the ruling party in the state. The suspects were arraigned following a clash at the APC secretariat in Oshobo, the state capital. And on August 14th, it was between all the members and the supporters of Oyetola and those allegedly belonging to the faction supporting the governor's predecessor, Ralph Aregbeshola. The governor condemned the clash and directed the party to withdraw the complaints and take necessary measures to discontinue the matter. For more on the incident and other developments in Oshun State, we are now being joined by the state's commissioner for information and orientation, Funke Egbemode. Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome. Can you briefly talk to us about the Thank situation you. and how how has it escalated to something like this? Well, politicians have to do what politicians have to do. Uh, they, they have to play politics and uh, people in politics tend to do, uh, to rev up their political activities as you approach um, election. And as we are approaching election, everybody's trying to get the governor's attention. Everybody's trying to get the attention of the government. I just think everybody involved in this matter is playing politics. It's uh, nothing unusual among politicians. Okay, you're calling it politics, but <clears throat> can you maybe help us with some specifics? How ugly was the incident at the heart of this where the secretariat was attacked? Did anyone sustain any injuries? Um, the, we, we had just concluded the uh, what Congress is, and there were those who felt that um, they were not carried along. And that was strange because we actually followed all the processes, and the party did what it had. The successful option was it got into office in Oshun State that did not get into office through the party. So whatever the party agreed on was binding on everybody. And so we had a consensus uh, Congress across the 332 uh, wards in the state. And normally when, the, when you have had um, an event like that, a political event like that, you will also, the party also provides a platform for those who are aggrieved, those who are not comfortable with outcomes to uh, appeal. Before then, the, 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 the committee from the APC National Secretariat in Abuja was here to meet with stakeholders before we went into the Congresses. So everybody was uh, involved and everybody, we, we, we got stakeholders to sit and ask questions and get clarifications as to what we are going to do on that Saturday. So we did the Congress, the appeal committee then arrived to listen because uh, that is the process. And suddenly this group of people swooped on the premises of the APC Secretariat in Oshubu and um, unleashed terror and um, injured people. And that was how it all started. So definitely uh, for, for uh, everything not to degenerate uh, uh, into something worse than we witnessed, the law enforcement agents were uh, they were called in and they calmed the situation and the appeal committee was able to see it. So of course the 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 um the police will have to do what the police will have to do. And so they, they rounded up some people and um went to court. It wasn't the state government that I speak for that went to court. 
that's how we got to the court angle. And then the governor was out of uh, uh, out of the state capital for for some time. And so when he got back, he felt that as the father of him, um, we could do this in a different way. So we don't continue to generate bad blood. And he said that the um, the party chairman should uh, treat it <laughs> like a family matter because he did not want where where we're, we're supposed to be one family, and so he instructed that uh, the party should discontinue uh, the case. But going to court was something that must be done when uh, uh, um, we feel that somebody is infringing on the peace and quiet that we enjoy in the state. Treating it like a family matter, that is somewhat of a wise way to go about it. But I'm wondering if throwing out the case and, you know, now that things have settled, is this enough to keep the peace between these warring factions or would more need to be done? Definitely. Uh, it's, a, it's a journey. It's not a destination. Um, when we get into uh, electioneering season like this, um all kinds of things were were reiterated and uh, the governor is determined that we will live peacefully because there is life after election there is life after campaigns and so withdrawing the case discontinuing the case in court is just a step in the right direction and anybody who knows the governor and who has studied the way has handled situations uh, even worse than this, we know that he always prefers that we need uh, violence or we need uh, sad situations in the board before it escalates into what we can't control. So whatever is thrown at us, we will handle it peacefully, decently. Yes, um, I guess my question is really to ask whether you're speaking for everybody, because yes, it's one thing for Adebo Egao Yotala to have that disposition, uh, it's another question whether the chairman, Boyega Famodun, will take his advice. And even if the chairman was ameliorable ameliar to his advice, what about those who sustained injuries? What I'm really asking is, are all the factions uh, at the table, are, they speak are you speaking for them? Well, I speak for the government. I speak for the governor. The governor is the leader of the party in the state. And he is working with the chairman. It's not every time that um, the family sits around the table to even have dinner that they are on the same page. But reasoning, good, good, good judgment will, will always prevail. Uh, so uh, what is going on now is that we have agreed uh, that peace, towing the path of peace and uh, reconciliation is the best way to go. And I know that everybody wants peace to reign. Everybody uh, wants us to move on to the next uh, stage of our Congresses, which is the Local Government Congress. And it's fast approaching. We do not want to go into that with bad blood. And so I'm sure, I assure you that the chairman of the party is on board with this because at the end of the day, everything being done is in the interest of the party that he chairs. Madam Commissioner, thank you so much.